This is not going to work. It will work. And it will be beautiful. The element of surprise makes for sensational television. You must have known about this. I didn't. It's your show. I had no idea. Well, you can take your brilliant, exciting idea and shove it. I'm out of here. You see, you've got to believe me. Please, please, please. All this dissension has no place in my television station. You? Your station? He said his station. Uh, Absolutely, yes. As of 12 noon today. The hostile takeover. It's a joke. It's got to be. <laughs> I knew you thought working for Miss Colby was tough. Why did you do it? Well, uh, because the station is a gold mine, of course. Congratulations. It's an honor to work for a man of your reputation. Adam Chandler, CEO. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me, Miss Colby. I'm sure my charming ex-wife will attest to that. Well, the honeymoon is over. I run a tight ship. You mess up, heads roll. Now, what seems to be the problem? And who do I have to fire to make it go away? A silly argument about today's show, really. It was nothing serious. You were shrieking at each other. It was a minor indifference. I was telling them what they could do with their rotten ambush the guest show. It's audience feedback, which we welcome. But... I'd like to go on record agreeing with my wife. Really loyal, huh, Tad? The last thing she needs to do is face Janet Green on camera. <laughs> Janet Green? Oh, well, I get it. I like it, Miss Colby. It's a good idea. Oh, really, Adam? And how would you feel if you knew that your son was watching your ex-wife claw the eyes out of a convicted murderer on national television? You think that's a good idea? You shouldn't let the boy watch programs like this. What a hypocrite. If it's not okay to watch, why do you show it? All right, I am the station manager, and I say we stick with the format. It has worked before. I would stake my job on it. I'm not arguing with the numbers. They speak for themselves. But for this show, no, I well, don't think so. Well, wait a second, Tad. You can't have two sets of rules. One for your family and the other for the guests on the show. Now, that's hypocrisy. Well, what about fairness? I mean, who are the other ex-cons, and what about their victims? I mean, if it's not okay to rub my face in Janet's bowl, why is it okay to do it to them? All right, time out. Time out. Final word. I agree with Miss Colby. The show must go on as planned. After all, she is staking her job on it. Now, where's Erica? Oh, well. She'll be here. Is she in her dressing room? Erica likes to show up a little late sometimes, keep the crew on their toes, create an air of spontaneity. <laughs> She's a diva. You're telling me. Isn't there a clause in her contract? Well. She's back. Hello, I'm sorry I'm late. Adam. What a treat. Are you the guest on today's show? No, even better. I'm your new boss. Adam bought the station. Are you joking? You're not. Well, that's wonderful. Unless someone who is savvy is in charge. Excuse us. Adam, here is your first order of business. You go over there and you fire that incompetent, ignorant Liza Colby. Cutting Edge started off as some hip entertainment. Now look at it. It's sick. It's exploitive sleaze. Thanks so much for telling me about Janet. No problem. Just thank you for not squealing. Oh, get you fired? I'd never do that. The rest of them. <laughs> well, uh, Ted may not have been behind the Janet deal, but, you know, he had to know the new direction the show was going in today. Well, never mind that. What about our boss? Is everything they say about the amazing Adam Chandler true? Can't be. Oh, it's it's true. He's amazing, all right. So what are you waiting for? Quick and clean is the best. I mean, just go over there and say to her, you're fired, get out. Eric, I just bought the, the station today. I'm not ready to start a bloodbath quite yet. Oh, great. Give her a chance to get my show canceled before you can her. Eric, I'm sorry that you and Miss Colby don't get along. Don't get along, Adam. No, no, no. I loathe her. She is a barracuda. Do you know that she's been trying to get rid of me because I, I took a leave of absence under strict doctor's orders? I mean, that is true, Adam. I, I am the star, but she treats me like dirt. Poor Erica. Big, big bad lies have been picking on you. Don't you dare make fun of me. I'm sorry. Erica, every now and then a barracuda can come in handy. I should have known this. I just should have known that you would take her side. Well, of course you would. Everything you know about television you learned from Brooke English. And not one of you has a clue as to why an audience tunes in. 
Erica? Yes. Honey, are you okay? Are you all right? Well, why wouldn't I be? Well, Dimitri told me that you two had separated. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. He told you? Yeah. I, I, I hope you two can work it out, but in the meantime, if there's anything I can do for you, you just... You can get me my notes. Who's going to prep me? Uh, Jason. look, we're going to produce a show, aren't we? I mean, we're not just going to stand around and gossip. Jason! Jason, who has my notes? And, uh, where is Rudy? Where yeah. is Rudy? I need to see someone in makeup right away. Well, here are your notes, and Robin's waiting for you downstairs. Thank you. Okay. Now, what are you doing here? Get out of here. Get out of here right now before I have you arrested. Invited guest. All right, I'll call security. I'll have them throw you out. Won't that make it a little difficult to interview me? Nobody told you? Uh, Louis Greco, ex-con, one-on-one with Erica King. Maybe we could talk about the other night down on Front Street when you try to score drugs. Don't wake out, baby. But this would be cool. You and me on widescreen TV? Who invited you? You look good. Much better than the last time I saw you. you mean, when you were strung out, wired to the gills for drugs. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you met uh, Louis Greco. He's going to be a guest on our show. Who booked this reptile? I did. Louis Greco just recently got out of prison about a month ago. I think he's a perfect example of what the system sends back to our community thanks to gain time and early release programs. <clears throat> there are two kinds of justice in this world. One for the rich and one for the rest of us. I mean, the rich commit murder, buy and sell drugs, get away with it. I need an energy boost, a Danish or something. Oh, oh, please. The green room is up there and to the right. Oh. I'll see you on camera. Oh, count me out. <laughs> no way. I can't do this. I beg your pardon? <sighs> my nerves. I don't have the strength to do this show. I'm leaving. What do you mean? Leave. What do you mean? Sorry. No, we have a, a show to do. We have to produce a show today. Back. Your back, I'll, I'll get you a pillow for your back. I will personally escort you to the makeup no, room. No, you don't understand, Eliza. I am in pain. I am in, in, in deep, wrenching pain. And I don't mean just physical. I also mean emotional. If you don't do the show today, you're off the show. Look, I had wanted to keep this private, but um, I'm having some problems at home. My husband and I have, have separated, and I'm just not up to this today. I, I cannot do this today. We will find a permanent replacement. You can't do that. You're fired. No, you can't fire me. I quit. What's going on here? She has pushed me too far this time. Way too far. Nobody appreciates what I do around here anyway. I have worked myself into an early grave for this show. And what do I get for it? I get a kick in the teeth. You gotta calm no, the cutting edge will die without Erica Kane. The ratings will drop, the sponsors will leave. And when each of you comes crowing to me, I will spit in your faces. Do you hear me? Go to hell. What are your plans now that you fire the star? We have a standard fallback position. Not him. Why not? I'm glib, suave, and charming as hell. Can't we dig up something fresher? Fresher? I bring in the numbers. If you don't believe me, just check on the rating. Oh, hosting a show on infidelity is one thing. You've had a lot of practice. But crime? You're too lightweight. Oh, I don't know about that. I've always been able to handle you. I'm sure a career criminal should be a walk in the park. How about Elise Flynn? Or Jody Lee Siegel? Um, nobody that hard-hitting is going to pinch it at the last minute. Rescheduling isn't in the budget. Tad is versatile. He's incredibly in innovative. He, he's not afraid of asking the questions that everybody else is. And, and he's, uh, he's entertaining. Hmm. Thank you. And he's Dixie's husband. Which means that he'll have an incredible amount of chemistry with Janet Green. And he knows Jack Montgomery. I think he can do it. He can do it. I, I know he can do it. Trust me. I never trust anyone who says trust me. But in this case... Since it means so much to both of you, I'll make an exception. It's up to you, sink or swim. Thank you, Adam. Good luck. Listen, I just want to say thank you for backing me up, for believing that I could do the job. What job? 
Is it true that Erica walked? You fired her? You're hosting the show? I am the official backup, honey. You knew that. Oh, that's... That's really terrific, Ted. So the person who will, uh... Let Janet paint herself as the victim won't be Erica. It'll be you. Janet's not going to get away with painting herself as a victim. Oh, really? You intend to muzzle her? Well, I hope so, because that's the only way you're going to keep me from calling her a bloodthirsty killer. But, you know what, honey? Don't worry. I don't intend to give you the chance. Dixie. Dixie, come... W-R-C-W. No, now. Don't waste time. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> the opportunity of a lifetime. Mr. Greco, do you have any questions about the show or the questions that the host will be asking you? Ask me anything. Louis Greco doesn't lie. <laughs> You know her? Do I know her? We had a hot thing going until she went loco. Called me a drug dealer. Threw me in prison. She's the one who got you busted? Yeah, she's the one. Well, do you mind sharing a stage with her? Well, like I said, anything goes. But, but if I was you, I wouldn't tell her. I, I'd let it be a little surprise. I love surprises. So does our audience. Mm-hmm. <laughs>